Hello guys, what is going on? My name is Zim's Miracle and welcome back to another GTA 5 online video. Now today I'm going to be showing you the new update that's going to be coming up in the spring. Now confirmed by Rockstar, there is actually a news article on the GTA 5 forum that enables you guys to read this and see what's coming out in the next update. I believe that they are calling this update the High Life Update and it includes a lot of stuff that I'm going to be listing today. Now first of all the first amazing feature that is going to be coming out in this update is that you will be able to own two properties. Now with this two properties it could be either an apartment, it could be a garage or it could be an apartment with a garage. So that will be amazing for you guys because now we'll be able to store more cars on one character. Now the next amazing thing in this update is there's going to be four new vehicles. Now only three of these vehicles have actually been released, however right here on the screen you should see that it actually says there's a, the new Dinka Frost motorcycle and three new lavish cars to choose from, including the two that we already know right now which is the Pegasi Zentorino and the Dubashi Mascaro. Now I'm sorry if I pronounced those wrongs, there isn't exactly any uh, ways of pronouncing them that I would know of. Now the other good thing is they're actually bringing stunting back in this update which is absolutely amazing. They've had a lot of requests to have it back because it was removed in the 1.11 patch. Now I'm not too sure if they're adding it exactly like it was now but they are actually aware of the BMX exploiting when you were actually gliding. So that's the reason they took it out before not realizing that it was going to affect the GTA 5 community or the stunting community but no nevertheless it is actually being updated and it's going to be included in the next update. Now the next cool thing is actually they are adding a new weapon as well, they call it the Bullpup Rifle which is actually similar to the Bullpup Shotgun as we know in GTA 5. It has the same looks but it's obviously a fully automatic gun which will look very cool and be able to buy from the ammunition so it looks really cool and we'll be looking forward to that. So on this screen now it says that the creator community will make their own original customised capture jobs and add to the over 3.5 million and counting player created death matches and races. Now it says here that there'll be str statistically placed pickups, defined weapons, set location and tweak tons of other variables to make your own unique capture jobs. So maybe what I'm thinking is they're going to add more props and new weapon area and stuff to set locations and hopefully they're going to make content creator absolutely amazing. There has been some rumours about missions and uh, vehicle death matches and stuff being released but I can't confirm that because I'm not too sure. Right here as well they are actually confirming heist to be out on this new update. They said here, coming this spring to GTA 5 Online, team up with your most trusted crew members or with the random other mercenaries in GTA Online to pull off cooperative heist missions for glory and profit. We know many in the GTA Online community have been looking forward to this update so stay tuned for more information to come. Now that is absolutely amazing, heist is going to be coming next update. Now if you didn't notice in this one as well, it actually says that the new highlight update will allow you to expand your foothold in Los Santos with the new high end apartment options. Now we talked about this. The fact that there is actually new apartment options make it seem a bit fishy to see what's going to happen in the next update. Now it says here as well that there's new wardrobe items so maybe they're going to add more clothing for us to pick from. Now here we have some other information as well. There is actually an option that will be able to call Lester and have him tell the cops buddies to turn a blind eye and ignore the crime that you may or may not have committed. So maybe this will be similar to the remove wanted level option but it will just be to turn a blind eye for some reason. Now I don't know what this could mean, it probably could be either lose them or even just trail behind them and make them have a head start getting away from them. It also says here as well as a reward for players who leave feedback on jobs there will be some bonus RP granted for every player that likes or dislikes content after playing it. So this can mean you're given a positive or negative feedback and you're still going to get rewards for doing this. This will obviously be able to contact the people to tell them that they're obviously doing a bad or a good job on this. They are also targeting people that have an outstanding amount of RP as they obviously were aware of the mods and the hacks of DNS redirects or whatever. And basically they're aware that people have modded RP that they're not meant to have therefore they will be targeting them and they're probably banning them. However if you have grinded or earned a small RP without modding you will see that your RP should not be affected by this correction. 
Anyway, they're also fixing the issue where people with upgraded personal vehicles before the 1.10 update were only able to sell them for $10,000, so hopefully they're going to be fixing that in the next update as well. Now that's pretty much it for this video, that's all the information I have for you guys. If you would like to go see this news article for yourself, there will be a link to the description. Now if you enjoyed this video, why not hit that like button down below and comment something random if you enjoyed. Also subscribe if you want to keep up to date with more GTA 5 videos similar to this one. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.